Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, today we're just going to bring you the monthly update from the Linux Mint blog as they usually release a post at the end of the month or beginning of the month, whatever it happens to be. So in this case, we received some updates. And the first bit of this is a lot of the summary. We've already done videos on most of these, but just a, a roundup summary of some various things here. Obviously, the Linux Mint 21.3 has dropped and we also got the upgrade pack but the upgrade tool was put back ported to Linux Mint 20.3. So if you are on an older version of Linux Mint from the 20 branch, you can go from any of the 20s up to 20.3 and then the upgrade tool is going to allow you to port from 20.3 up to 21.3. So you have more upgrade paths in the event you wanted to do that. In my opinion, should you push that update? It kind of depends on are you wanting to contribute to the development development testing of Wayland? Are you wanting to uh, to take advantage of the newest version of Cinnamon? Are you wanting to take care of a few of the things that they have put together in the more recent updates? If what you already have is working for you, I would say just kind of stick with it. Now, in my case, with my one production laptop that got moved to 21.3, that actually got moved up because the core package Ubuntu base changed and I wanted to upgrade the Kden Live to the newer version, but the PPA for the older Ubuntu LTS is broken. So I upgraded to the newer package base, mostly to get that PPA to work and have the latest version of Kden Live, which did end up solving a lot of the problems I had on that particular laptop with some of the video production I was working with. So it depends on what your purposes are. If everything is working fine for you, I just stay on whatever mint you are on uh, until you need a new computer or whatever else. But if you want to take advantage of the new things, though, those tools are now backported to easily have a GUI process. Of course, anytime you're going to do that, you do want to make a good uh, backup. Make sure that time shift is set up if you don't want to worry about reinstalling everything else from your backups. And uh, that's what you can do there. Of course, they did talk about the upgrade path from the other old versions of 21 up to 21.3. And they did fix a couple of bug reports that released that were went unnoticed in beta. These are fixed. Uh, Mint stick could not handle spaces in the file path. The cinnamon screensaver showed a black screen on high DPI. And uh, when multiple users were logged in, cinnamon sessions only showed a dialogue window on the quit and log out for the first user. So we had a few different uh, a few different issues that were fixed. There was a Wayland issue. This might be some of the Wayland issues I experienced when I did my first testing on Wayland on Cinnamon, looking at some of the things that I'm doing. And where it came into effect is it would have issues on X even if you were not using X. So if you logged out and logged back in, so you ran into a problem on on Wayland, and then you logged out to log back in under X, the problems would still manifest themselves through. And so they say if you're running into problems like that, until they get that resolved, go ahead and reboot the system, and that should clear everything else out. We did also talk briefly that the Edge ISO was released with the Linux kernel 6.5, and there were a few regressions with the ISO that have since been fixed. One of those dealt with Rufus support, which Linux Mint fixed, but also the Rufus version 4.4 fixed. That. So if you're using Rufus and had issues with Linux Mint 21.3, those should all be fixed either on Rufus 4.4 or whatever the latest uh, Linux Mint you could get would be. And then support for loopback, uh, that was fixed as well. All of the new features from Linux Mint 21.3 have been backported to LMDE 6. I don't think we did a full dedicated video on that, but I believe we mentioned it in passing at one point in time. And now on to the latest for Linux Mint 22. We just have one new feature and the code name. The basic code name for Linux Mint 22 is going to be Wilma. Uh, I'm not sure where uh, Shaggy and Scooby are, but uh, there you have it. Uh, for the sneak peek of one of the features, we got these new uh, Nemo features in there, the, basically the spices for Nemo, the actions are calling them. And they will, they basically identified one major problem with them right now is everyone's jumping on top and building some of these and people are like, uh, we got too many actions, our menu is getting too big. So now we have a way to 
organize the actions. I don't know if this means you can put some not in that menu and some in the menu, but you can modify the icons and you can sort them into sub menus as well. So that's the first feature that we have that's going to be in the Linux Mint 22 that is going to be inside of here. So that is our Linux Mint updates for the week. With that, thank you guys for watching. Enjoy your weekend and we will be back with more videos next week. Subscribe to the channel if you've not already done so. Hit that notification bell if you are inclined to do such things and we will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching this video from Switched to Linux. This channel would not be possible without the backing of the program supporters scrolling on the screen now. You can be a supporter at Patreon at patreon.com slash T-O-M-M or at thinklifemedia.com. I also want to thank the open source community who creates such excellent software that makes producing this show possible. Please remember to support your software communities. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.